options mean is that we want it so that the variable of the denominator can't be zero. Okay, so for question A, the first question will be, we'll say, 3 over x minus 2. Now, we're not going to be doing any simplifying. All we're going to say here is what the restriction is going to be on the variable. What value is going to cause this problem for x? Go ahead. How did you get that? 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. If you, so we're going to say here x cannot equal 2. If you need the aside for how he got that, hopefully what he did is he treated this just like a root. So he said x minus 2 can't be 0. x cannot be 2. Okay, right? That's the aside if you need the aside. Are you okay on the logic there, right? If you plug a 2 into that equation, there's going to be a major issue for us there. Probably 0, okay. I'll do letter B here, which is going to be a little bit more fun. Letter B is going to say, I'll do x over x squared minus 9. Okay, all we're dealing with is restrictions, okay? So if we look for here, what should be the first step that we're probably going to do here, do you think, if you could guess? I want to find what x can't be. So what's the first thing I'm probably going to want to do? And nobody, that's okay. Okay, I'm looking at that denominator. That denominator is starting to bug me. How would I deal with x squared minus 9? I don't like x squared minus 9. Which I like better than x squared minus 9? Okay, Quinn, go ahead. Okay, and x minus 3 and? Oh, you said half. You said x minus 3 is half, right? Yeah, right? yeah so what did you guys do there? A factor, right? Always in life, if you don't know what to do and you see an x squared, you should factor it instantly, always. So that looks nice, so we factor. We've sorted our first step there. So when we look at the denominator only, the numerator we don't care about. If we have a zero in the numerator, it's okay to have zero. Zero is okay for an answer. The problem is we just can't divide by zero. So what problems are we going to have if we denominate it now? What are the issues going to be? If you don't know, think of it like roots. I'll help you. Think of this like roots. So we're going to say here then, x minus 3 can't be 0. And x plus 3 can't be 0. So just like we'd be doing like the roots there, right? Like you get your roots, like equals 0, do the same thing, but not equal to 0. On the left-hand side, if x minus 3 can't be 0, what can x not be? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, good. It's okay to answer. Okay. So I'm going to say up here, x cannot be 3. What else? Thank you very much. And don't worry, we'll be graphing these things in a few days, okay? So you'll learn why that's important for us to graph. Are we okay on the logic of where those two things came from? Seems to be great. We're just looking at the denominator. It's going to cause a problem for the denominator. So x could be anything else. Anything else will be right. Because if you think, right, if you plug in 4, that our answer to our equation will be 4 over 16 minus 9, which is 4 over 7, which is okay. If I plug in 3, yeah. that'll be 3 over 9 minus 9, so 3 over 0, which causes a problem. Okay, so any other value you can sub into that equation except for 3 and 8, because anything else that is. Okay. Yeah, Why did you not? Well, we did sort of. The square root of. Sorry, one more time, sorry. Uh, so, like, if I saw that simplified, I would probably. Yeah, well, that's good. So the square root of x squared, x squared of x squared just gave us x, right? And the square root of 9 was giving us 3, right? That's where we got the difference of squares there. So that was like the letter B on the back end, right? It was square root of the square root. Yeah. Any questions? Um, so x would be 2, x would be negative 2, yeah. x would be 1, x would be 2. x would be negative 2, point nine 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 nine. So just can't be 3. Okay, right. That's what I think we're going to be talking about. I'll do one more of these, and then we'll move on to actually our lesson. Okay, I want you guys to take a second. I'm going to hit pause. I want you to find the restrictions on x. That's all we're doing here. Okay, so what can x not equal to? What sort of issues with x going to be? I'm going to walk to the back. Okay, since I'm noticing some stress here, stress here. Think of this just like a root. 
that's all you're solving here. You're basically you're solving the equation. The whole entire denominator can't be zero. Right, that's basically what we're trying to do here, right? So just like we do this for roots, we'd say, well, then 2x minus 1 can't be 0, and 3x plus 4 can't be 0. Okay. So from the first one, what's can x not be on the left-hand side? Go ahead. Can't be 1 half. Okay. Okay, somebody else. From the right-hand side, what can x not equal? On the right-hand side. Four over three. Negative four over three, but yeah, negative four over three. Because right, it has to like the force go across the negative. Okay. okay, please raise your hand if there's a question here, because I saw most people. Just think of it just the same as a root. It's the same idea as a root. That's what you're thinking. Oh, no problem. I'll move that down. We're just going to solve, right? So it's going to be 3x can't be negative 4, and then divide by 3, and divide by 3. All right, so we're going to cause a 4, change the negative, we move across, and then divide by 3. No, because you want it to be okay. One's an okay answer. The thing is, okay, think of this the same way as we do x-intercepts here, though, right? Okay, there's only going to be one prop, like one root with this bracket, one root with this bracket, right? So if you just type in one here, two times one is two, minus one is equal to one, so that's fine. Okay, right, like it's not a zero. It's the same thing as finding zeros that we're doing here, except for instead of being in the numerator, then the denominator. Other than that, it's the same stuff. Okay. Good. Okay, this is getting more of the conflicts in the next week, okay? So I want to start place things here right now. One part of these. Okay, here we go. Let's go on to exactly two. Okay, this says simplify and state restrictions. Simplify state restrictions. Okay, so the question says 2x minus x squared all over x squared plus x. Now, what I mentioned, I'm not sure if I told you this at the beginning of the year. My favorite part of math is taking an equation that looks like this and having bring it down to be a small thing. So this is what we're doing here. We're taking an equation that's complicated, we're making a more simple version of it. So I want you to look back at our three-step process here. Can someone be brave and tell me what the first step in the three-step process is? Factor everything, okay? So there's only two numbers there. How do we factor the numerator? Reduce the numerator or factor it? Good. So we're just going to factor here. So we're just going to common factor is all we can do. So this is going to be x bracket. What's inside the brackets? 2 minus x. Okay, how am I going to factor the denominator? x, good. Wonderful. And left over should be what? Hopefully somebody heard said x plus 1, I hope. Okay, so step 1, we're done. Everything's factored. I can't do anything else. Step 2 is going to be state restrictions. Okay, so what issues are we going to have with the denominator? What are the numbers that we're going to have for those problems here? Well, let's look at the two brackets here. If we're looking at this x, what, it, what can we not sub into this x here on the left? Negative 1. Is, negative 1 will work for this one. Okay, so if you think of your roots here, Okay. Right, so the either the left hand side can't be zero or the right hand side can't be zero, right? So for the left hand side, this looks like one restriction here. Right? On the right hand side, 
It looks like this. Let me be negative one. No, you said negative one. I know, but I was saying the left hand side. But you gotta include them both there. Because things that that's very quadratic. Now, here's the happy part. I know you guys are saying this isn't happy. Okay? The happy part of these questions are canceling. What's common in the numerator and denominator? X. So this is where we take our happy mean, we're going to be happy place, and my happy pen. We're going to cross out the x to do the same. And what we're going to say that our final answer is 2 minus x all over x plus 1, where x cannot equal 0 and negative 1. What I did here was I restated all restrictions. Okay, even though we cancel out the x, if this is equivalent to my first statement, you still have to include the, like all the can equal 2 solve matrix. Yes. Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. It can in this equation, but because it's supposed to be equal to the inverse equation, there's a problem where we're up there. Okay, are we feeling somewhat okay? Please be brave and ask here, because this is what the rest of today is going to be factoring and canceling. That's all we're doing today is factoring and canceling. Sorry? Well, because it, in order to cancel something, like it has to be the entire bracket has to be the same, right? So because this bracket is different than that bracket, like you can't just do like an x and an x, because um, well, because we're to sub in numbers, like two minus three and three plus one, that's not going to be the same. Like even though they're the same, like they're not. But you see, they have to be the same bracket. That's what I'm trying to say before you cancel. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I'll do one more with you, and I'll let you guys try yourselves one. Okay, here we go. Example five. Three, I mean. Whoops. I was too worked up. I'm sorry. I got too excited. Example five, state description. I'm going to allow you guys to do shortcut methods of factoring, okay? Because for this one on your test, I will give you one that's like 10 different things you can factor. And we'll, I want to more worry about you with the skill I'm teaching here is the, the um, restrictions and the simplifying rather than the factoring, okay? So if I give you this, I, you don't do the decomposition for the denominator, you can do the short form. Let's start with the numerator though. Can someone be brave other than Luke and tell me please how we factor the numerator? Summer, go. X plus 4, X minus 4. So you get the squares for that one. Okay. Can someone else? Other than Summer? Tell me how you factor the denominator. Go ahead. Negative 4 and? Yeah. Okay, so this is a shortcut method. Why am I able to use the shortcut for this one? Here's the shortcut. You guys don't know this yet. You guys don't know the shortcut? It's lovely. Go ahead, Liam. Because uh, since there's no multiplying value, x, you can take the two things that will be x minus four, x minus three. Only, and I don't like showing this because people do it all the time, but if it's just plain x squared, you can go right to your brackets right away on one set. Okay? So, and if you don't believe me, I can do it longhand, but it'll work all the time if it's just plain x squared. So, so if it's just plain x squared, you can go right to here in, in one set. Okay, because if you take a look, x times x is x squared. The problem is, what if it's like a 2 or a 3, you get, it's more difficult for that. Okay. We'll do lots of these, don't worry, today. Okay, can I get someone brave that hasn't raised their hand today? Give me some restrictions on x before I cancel. Oh, everyone here is going to have to. You've already volunteered. So you've already volunteered. Kylie, go. Good. And what's the other one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Okay, so where she got 4 from was, well, 4 minus 4. Okay, good. And from the right hand side, 1 minus 1. Does anyone have questions on where the 4 and the 1 came from? Because this is relatively important. Okay. Brad, how are you doing? In the front row, I probably couldn't pick anything. Yeah. 
I was using this on a phone and I initially still a phone to go back. And I was like, it's not going to play. My son has rat tested for the same phone. Okay, so, I'm sorry, big question? Yeah, whenever you're creating your restrictions, yes. Comms, um, um, is okay, yeah. You can do that. Oh, so X cannot equal this no. X. No. No. Okay, so why am I happy at this stage? What's the happy moment of my day? Yeah, Lana, very good. What cancels? That's why it's fourth cancel. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't sad. It was the red mark. I can't help it. I just grabbed it. Okay. So my final answer is just x plus 4 all over x minus 1, and x cannot equal 4 comma 1. Now again, I restrated both restrictions, because even though the x minus 4 isn't gone, because it's equivalent all the way up, you have to keep it in there. Okay. Yeah, how's it going? Make sense? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one of these to try on your own right now. Okay, please get rid of your phone, please. Don't tell me you're texting your mother too. Don't tell me always does. Yeah. Actually, Liam always says he's texting his father. That's the only thing. No, I said that what? Yeah. He's exactly true. He still okay. feels so bad for calling. That day that he calls? Yeah. He's like, I really hope that you're not just making bad parents. I'm going to talk about that. Oh, no. I hate that time that he ripped up your homework when I was going to. Don't uh, please do not. Okay, go ahead, do your worst, and by your worst, I mean your best. <laughs> 